What can I do for you? Someone said you were caught soaping up the windows on the teacher's lounge. Yeah, I totally got busted. It was a senior prank. I had to spend two days in detention. Wasn't that the night Jake was murdered? Yeah, I guess it was. Never really thought about that. Is your dad the owner of Gray Enterprises? Yep, that's him. I have an internship in the computer department at the plant. It's mega boring, but it'll look good on my college application. Didn't I hear that Gray Enterprises went bankrupt? So what if it did? My dad is working really hard to get the company back on track, and it doesn't help to have vultures like you gloating over it. I'm sorry, Daryl. I didn't mean to gloat. That's okay. I'm just a little touchy about it. What else can I do for you? Talk to you later. Take care. Hi, Nancy. I think you should know that I got a threatening phone call from someone named Mitch Dillon. Interesting. Mitch is a suspect we're looking into, and he probably caught wind that you're snooping around. But I wouldn't pay him much attention. If he does anything else, let me know, and we'll take care of him. How is he involved? You don't need to know at this time. Just concentrate on the students and finding Jake's journal. We have Mitch covered. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Hey, Nancy. Need something? See you later. Bye. You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this, I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Bye. Farewell, Nancy. Hey, gorgeous. Glad you stopped by. What's the word on the street? Well, your uncle isn't here if that's who you're looking for. I'm sorry for saying this, but he's kind of a Mr. Cranky Pants. How so? He's on edge from drinking all of our coffee, and last week he seriously freaked out on me. What happened? I don't know. He lost something in the diner and accused us of stealing it. He went kind of psycho. 
Hal Tanaka told me Jake said he had a meeting with you once. But I thought you said you hardly knew him. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he had to talk to me about work. See you later. Oh, before I forget, someone left this note for you. It was on the counter when I got back from break. Bye, Nancy. I'm Nancy. Drew, this is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around.
to reach. Too hot. I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary, but don't say anything about that. that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what Ouch, too hot. to reach. to reach.
should look around first before I leave. I should look around first before I leave. Thank you for calling Dylan HVAC. We are currently away from the office. Hi, Nancy. Ciao. Bye, Nancy. So, how'd your date go with the mysterious note-leaving guy? Let's just say he almost took my breath away. Good, so I'm still in the running for you. Bye. Take care. Nancy, you look terrible. What happened to you? Are you okay? Somebody set a booby trap for me in the school. I'm pretty sure it was Mitch Dillon who set it up. Okay, we'll handle this and get Mitch off the street. We can't charge him now or we'll blow our cover, but once this investigation is done, I guarantee you he'll pay for this. Daryl mentioned that you had lost something last week? Yes. I lost my wallet. A lot of my undercover contact information is in the wallet, including yours. You can imagine what would happen if that information fell into the wrong hands. Did you ever find it? It was in my hotel room all along. I think I was drinking too much coffee. It's starting to affect my mind. I found the videotape Jake made. It shows some students that Jake was blackmailing. Was one of the students Daryl Gray? No. That's surprising. My intuition says that Blondie Burger Boy is involved in this somehow. A good lead, but we really need to find that journal of Jake's. I think a student may have killed Jake because he was blackmailing him, or her. You're getting great leads, but think and may have are not good enough. We need to find hard evidence, like Jake's journal. Bye, Uncle Steve. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Bye. See you later, Nancy.
Hey, Nancy, need something? I know you're the unknown winner of that judo competition. Jake Rogers had it all on videotape. Yes, Nancy. I'm the mysterious winner of the men's tournament. It wasn't easy for me, and I'm proud of what I did. Did you kill Jake to stop him from blackmailing you? Are you crazy? Of course not. I didn't kill Jake. Jake was threatening to expose you, maybe even make you lose your black belt, and he forced you to break your date with Daryl. Life would have been so easy with him out of the way. I didn't kill Jake. I'll let you go. Adios. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor and bother someone else. Jake knew you broke into the drug station. He was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Yeah. He found out I stole the steroids and threatened to turn me over to the cops. It would have meant the end of my football career if I didn't cooperate. What did he want from you? You name it. Chauffeur, errand boy, bodyguard. He loved ordering me around like I was his slave. Why did you steal the steroids? I got hurt really bad in a game a few weeks back. Broke four ribs and cracked two others. I had to keep playing even though I was hurt. I needed to impress the scouts. Then I started taking steroids. It wasn't worth it because I was still in pain and all my free time was spent playing errand boy for Jake. Errand boy? The last thing Jake had me do was deliver a note to Daryl Gray. It was in a sealed envelope, so I couldn't read it. My bet is Jake was blackmailing Daryl. Did you kill Jake? I'm not a killer, Nancy. I didn't do it. I'll talk to you later. Later. What can I do for you? Hulk Sanchez said he saw you delivering an envelope to Jake. Okay, so I gave him an envelope. Big deal. It was about a school project I'm working on. Hey, what is it with all these questions? I'm really starting to wonder who you are exactly, Nancy Drew. I'm out of here. If Maxine drops by, make up a good excuse about why I had to leave. See you around, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Goodbye. Be careful. Did that. Check. That's done. Check. That's done. Still have to do that. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. That's done. Still have to do that. Check. Okay. 
Hey, Nancy, need something? Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. Ugh. Watch the fort while I'm gone. Hi, Nancy. See you around. Be careful. Looks like something was removed here.
I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor and bother someone else. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Still have to do that. That's done. Still have to do that.
haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. 